Hey, we're back, and today's show is all about cheese. And we just visited the Bel Gioioso cheese plant. Uh, they make amazing, award-winning cheeses. And Jamie's here uh, from Bel Gioioso to show us the 101 on how to put a, a cheese tray together. Good to see you, Jamie. You too. Mm -hmm. I have to. I have to tell you, I've always wanted to host a wine and cheese party, but I've been intimidated on how to, you know, I'm not a caterer, yes. um, you know, and somehow when I put cheese out on a plate, it just doesn't look near as good as some of those gorgeous cheese trays you see at, you know, weddings and, and parties and things like right. that. But it's not that hard to do. No, it's not. And you really don't have to slice all the cheese. Sometimes when you get cheese trays from, from the market, they're already sliced up. But I, what I like to do is have our guests get involved in the cheese tray and cut it themselves and maybe ask some questions about the products. Well, let's, so let's we're going to start. Yeah, start from the very beginning. Get in the, I like this, too, because I think people also think that they need to put cheese on a fancy platter, but it's just a, a great cutting board. Even a butcher block or, mm -hmm. a, you know, something like that works great. Exactly. That's When, you, when you're cutting yourself, you do want to have a nice, solid um, surface. So we're going to start with a fresh cheese, and we're going to do four cheeses today. And what you want to do with a with the cheese trays, maybe have a fresh, a little milder cheese, a little stronger, and then a nice pungent cheese. Okay, so all different so you stuff. Have something for everyone. Cool. So we're gonna start with our fresh mozzarella, and this is our mozzarella and water. And these are our selling genie balls, or one third ounce balls. And we're gonna drain these quick. You bet. So these are nice and bite-sized. People these can are just bite pick size. them up and, you, you know. can, what I like to do is keep it in the container in case you want to marinate it with some olive oil oh, yeah. or some spices yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. But today we're going to serve it with um, some melon. Okay. So we're going to put the melon in the bowl. And of course, uh, on this cheese tray, you're going to have to put it in the bowl because it's a little more wet. Okay. Um, so the melon so and the mozzarella just right in the same bowl. Yeah, they go very well together. So that's our fresh cheese. I think I could handle that. <laughs> that okay, was very right simple. there. Our next is our Asiago cheese. Mm. And this is aged for five months. It's a semi-hard cheese. Has a sweet, nutty flavor. Nice, mild flavor. It's very appealing to everyone. And my husband's Bob's, it's his favorite. Um, we have, this is about a five or eight to 12 ounce piece. They're okay. random white pieces. And what I do is I just, if we're not we're not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to try to keep some of the the plastic on because that helps keep the cheese longer fresh. longer in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to cut about half of this off. Okay. And this cheese we're going to cube. So I don't think I'm going to have you cube. Absolutely, that. I can do that. And what you want to do with the rest? Um, you can use it on different pastas. You can shred it, grate it. Um, wrap it in some plastic wrap. I keep it in the plastic and put it in maybe a plastic bag in your refrigerator. That's how I do it at home, Keeps so I'm doing nice it right. <laughs> yes. right. Good, good. I didn't know if I was doing it right. Perfect. Another, another option with the um, Asiago is we have a papado cheese. Mm. It has whole pe black peppercorns in it. A little bite. So They're if you want a little good. bite, you can do that. So, see how easy that is? Very Just easy. Chew that right up. up. Okay. Now, where do you want to want that? Just put it right here. Okay. So a little bit of space in between. You bet, because okay. we're going to pair it with some nuts. You can use pecans or, um, cashews. or cashews. Yes. Maybe a little apple. I'm gonna have you slice up the apple. Absolutely. A bit. The next cheese is our American grana, and if you don't, this is an 18 month cheese. Uh, it's aged for 18 months. It's a uh, hard cheese. It's like Parmesan. It's a premium Parmesan. Mm. Um, if you don't have this in your market, you can get Parmesan also. Okay. So we're going to do basically the same thing as the Asi Asiago. We're going to open the plastic wrap. And this one we're going to keep whole. Okay. So your guess can chunk their own. I'm gonna cut. And I like that idea because it also looks really cool on the platter to keep yes, some it holes. Yes, it does. So what you can do, this is a Parmesan knife, and you can start it off for your guests. You okay. Can, all you do is kind of chunk it up. 
because some cheeses like this one don't really cube up very well. So this is really the best way to get it going. Right, this is um, actually the way we serve it to our guests in, at trade shows. When we have the whole wheel for display, sure. we just chunk out sure. the pieces. All right, I've got my apples. Where would you okay. like those? Let's put the apples right here. Okay. We'll put a little some of the cashews. Uh, what goes well with American grana is grapes. Oh, okay. You have that nut, nutty flavor with the sweetness Yum. of the grapes. So we're going to put some grapes right next to it. It's starting to look really great. All right, what next? And the last is our gorgonzola. And okay. Today mm -hmm. We have two. We have our creamy or our crumbly. The crumbly is basically used in salads. Um, I think you use them in your chicken breasts. It's great. It has a little less moisture. The creamy is nice to spread on bread. Mm. So we package ours in this foil. Okay. So it allows the cheese to breathe. Okay. If you see some pl in plastic, it doesn't let the mold breathe, so it kind of turns green and it dies. Oh, that's a really good thing to look yeah. for. So when you're buying blue so. cheese or gorgonzola, look for that, that yeah. foil. See our, our beautiful. Has some, but that's gorgeous. Some blue cheese. And what we're going to do here is we're going to slice it. I just like to slice it because it's in a triangle. Mm. And we're going to serve this with some pears or with some bread. Mm. Oh, I've got that one right there for you. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I'll have to eat that one. <laughs> there you go. You're Not a problem. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put some bread along with that. And you can do some other fruit. You know, what else goes well is some walnuts. Oh, yeah, I love blue cheese and walnuts and, and pears, that whole thing together. Want me to slice some pears for you? Sure. Bread, crackers, there are some really nice, um, you know, fancy crackers now that you'll find um, that really are beautiful and taste delicious, too. And what I like to do also is put out a little tag explaining what the cheeses are, or at least listing the cheeses so your guests know what they're eating. That's a great if idea. If you have time to let them know. That's a great idea. What about the, um, the, the creamy? Creamy, we can do that also. Maybe leave that hole. Throw the pears in here. There you go. And this product has a rind on it. Mm. So and I think we showed that the last time you you need to cut off the rind when you buy the creamy gorgonzola. Okay. This one you can see there's a little more moisture in it. And there's a nice rind. But you don't want to eat that. But that looks so you know, just pretty, just whole mm -hmm. on the on the tray, and again people can just kind of spread it on the bread or whatever. Right in there maybe. I think what it's a think? little big. A little big? <laughs> there Let's you see. go. There we go. We'll move it. And there. if the grapes are kind of falling off, uh, so much the better. I think that makes it oh, even, yeah. even you prettier. Oh, yeah. nice tablecloth, though. We've got other stuff, olives and blackberries. I mean, really, we could just keep, you know, keep adding, adding to it. it. Yeah. It's beautiful, Jamie. Thank that you. wasn't all that hard, but remember, a few things to remember is, you know, we've got the mild here, just a little bit for everybody, like you said, you know. Right. So you can kind of move on up, start with the mild and, and mix the fruits and the nuts and have fun with it. Yes. You know? It's not that hard. No, it's not. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>